What is going on, guys? This is Zayden coming back at you with some more Dark Souls. So I leveled up Endurance twice. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both okay, in one so piece. I think he's not offering to teach us sorcery because we don't have 10 intellect yet. So we're just, we're not smart enough for it. But that's okay. I forgive him. Eventually, I do want to use a um, magic weapon buff. Because I'm pretty sure that the Silver Knight weapons are buffable. I'd have to look it up again to be sure. But I'm pretty sure that's why I liked them to begin with. Good stat scaling, mainly in dex, if I remember correctly. I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a long, long time since I've used them. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for my voice quality. I'm still <clears throat> very, very sick. But enjoying the playthrough so much that I just don't want to stop recording. You know, I, this is really, you know, putting the putting the life back in me despite how sick I've been. Just roll over everything. If I'm correct, yep. One behind. There we go. Let's see if she'll navigate. So I do want to kill her. Yes, the butchers are female. This has been confirmed by the developer. And the ambient occlusion from DS Fix really makes this place come alive. I like it. I don't see her anywhere. Come on, where are you? You fell down over here. But where did you go? There you are. Hi. Where are you going now? Hi. You coming? Get my drink on. Come on. You can do it. 
No? Is that her? I think it is. Yeah, it is. God dang it. Okay, whatever. I'm a very cautious, turtly player most of the time. I just feel as though it works best. For me. You know, everybody has their own play style, and that's totally cool. So if they attack with the left, that weird baton on the left side, that's actually a grab attack, so you do want to avoid that if you are playing through yourself. And large ember. What's the lore on that? I think it's in key items. Where are key items? Oh, right here. Derp. <clears throat> Handled by the blacksmiths of Astora. Okay, so it just tells you which blacksmith to give it to. Cool. Alright. And now let's come over here. Where the fuck is she? Did she go back over here? Yeah, she did. Ow. Nah, got the sack. So if we view that... Alright. Bloodstained patchwork sack by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear, but it's probably near meaningless in terms of defense. So this doesn't actually specify the gender in that. I was just wondering if it did. Um, but Maneater Mildred is actually a butcher in training. You. Yes, yes. You. Here, over, over here. Please. You must help me. And then I believe that he actually does mention specifically she. There you are. You must help me. Or else she'll have me for lunch. You're my own help. Oh, please. Oh, you're my own help. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating alive. I shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Luetius. Or the Great Swan. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Excellent. Laurentius is um, is is definitely your bro, your main bro in this game. If you save him, you're just BFFs. You know he he's a great guy, and you should never take Laurentius for granted. He's just good people all around. I've never actually really gone this way. What is this way? Oh. Well then. So there's a slime attached to the ceiling. I should probably explain that for anybody who didn't notice it. Um, there's a slime attached to the ceiling there. And it's going to drop down on my head. I don't really feel like equipping a bow at the moment. So... Heal just in case. I have enough flasks on me. Smacky, smacky. Fire is actually really super effective against those. I don't think I can get over there from this side, can I? Can you walk across here? Oh, you can. Sweet. Good 
something eject. Give me that spider shield. <clears throat> Alright, one hitting that, this Black Knight Sword just keeps impressing every time. <clears throat> so in a previous episode, I had mentioned um, how this game sort of drives, like, sort of drove me mad when I originally started playing it. And that's what I meant in terms of um, in terms of being hollow as a game mechanic representing the player's psychology. Because the first time that I ever played this game, I went hollow as I played it. You know, I died more and more and lost more and more of my calm, my sanity, every time that I died. I think it's left side, question mark. Yeah, I'm going to go left side. Awesome. I was right. So, I lost a little bit more of my sanity every time that I died. And eventually, it just it, it drove me mad, and I just had to stop playing. So, <clears throat> the concept of hollowing extends to beyond just the game, but to the player as well. It's a very interesting kind of take on things. Vati Vidya, V-A-A-T-I-V-I-D-Y-A. Um, he's a YouTuber who does a lot of Dark Souls lore content. And he has a, a video about this concept. That's very, very interesting to me. take off our helmet for the time being. Let's switch to the wood arrows that I bought. So we're not looking to do damage, we're just looking to get these assholes off the ceiling here. If we can ever find their hitboxes. If you have a sword imbued with fire in any way, you'll definitely one-shot them every time. Or even pyromancy if you go and you get pyromancy from Laurentius at this point. So if you are having any troubles with these assholes, then all you need to do is just run back to Firelink. Grab yourself a pyromancy flame. Make sure you have ten attunements so you can attune at least one spell, which I don't think we have at this point. I think we're at eight attunement. But using a bow and a few jumping attacks works as well. <clears throat> and then there's the one up there. That one's well hidden. soul. So that's the soul that we saw before. I like doing the path backwards on this. It's just easier. It lets you jump attack, kill the rat. These guys jump something, but I forget what. Maybe large. Yep, large Titanite. That was convenient.
Is it real, or is he in the Souls Illuminati? Yeah, I'm not falling for that. God, my reach is just a little bit shorter than I think it is. There we go. This is one of my other favorite characters. I A strange helm from the ancient land of Zena, or Zena, birthplace of the curious dealer Donal. Domal? Domnal. I don't know how to pronounce that. He says it. The two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. And then each everything, each one has its own little thing there. And let's see. Anything that I actually want? <coughs> Not really. Well, that is a shame. But no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. I like that he's uh, the only character, like the only shopkeeper that I can think of that doesn't kind of berate you. Not including ba blacksmiths, they, a lot of them don't berate you. But uh, he doesn't berate you at all when you don't make a trade with him. He's just cool with it. Let's take that off and put my mask back on. Tiniest little rat. Basilisks. So cool thing about basilisks, those are not their eyes. Their eyes are actually super duper tiny. Those are a defense mechanism meant to look like eyes. Let's see if we can get a view of its real eyes here. Let's kind of kick it around a little. No, I don't think we're going to get one. Right. I am going to go back to the bonfire in a moment and switch to human form. But first, I want to find and murder the channeler, but I totally forget where he is. I don't think he's this way at all, actually. <clears throat> I 
but the channeler, if, you, if left unchecked, will screw you over in the boss fight. He can actually, um, he can actually buff the boss in the area, much like the channeler in the undead parish buffed the hollows. So he'll give the, he'll give the boss much greater attack power. Which is not really acceptable. Yeah, this is the right way. No, is it? I don't think it is. I think this is just the way to the boss fight. Yeah, Chandler's up there, you asshole. If he's up there, that means we have to be up there. So, this way. I believe. Humanity and the Great Axe. How much strength does that require to wield? Probably way too much. 32. So we could two hand it, I believe. No, we couldn't. We'd be at 30. Yeah, no, we could two hand that. But it wouldn't be useful. humanity drops off of these guys. I've got one soft humanity. So the key here is that there are uh, certain points you can actually fall down into the basilisk area. And this is generally the first place where players are going to encounter the curse mechanic, which essentially if your curse bar fills up, you will die. You'll die, and then when you come back, you'll only have half of your life total. And I believe in this version of the game, you can only be cursed twice. So down to a quarter of your normal health. Um, in the original unpatched version of the game, you could be cursed until you had one-eighth of your life total, which was just horrific. And then you need to buy a purging stone, which costs 5,000 souls from... Um, what is his name? Cannot remember his name for the life of me. Oswald of Kareem. That's it. So you can get Purging Stone from Oswald of Kareem, but it's going to cost you a lot. I don't really feel like full clearing this. We're just going to head back to the bonfire. No, not that way. This way? Yeah. So you can tell the game's kind of dead. I've been playing online this whole time and uh, seeing nothing. Just nothing. Let's get some strength up in there. And then... Pop two of these. I like to keep one, human one soft humanity at a time, just for the sake of extra item discovery. Because the first humanity counts for like 50 points of item discovery, which is really nice. I think it's 50. <clears throat> Could be wrong. 
Let's check. Your default... Your default's 110. And 150. So it might, might be 100 by default. Either way. You get uh, 50 item discovery for your first soft humanity. And then diminishing returns after that up to 10 humanity. So I just like to have one. And then if I'm right, I believe that I need to go left. Because there's an NPC invasion around here. Okay, getting my butt kicked by rats. Not cool. Let's take a sip. There we go. I don't remember where he pops up. I think it's back over here. Yep, right there. Oh, wow. Get wrecked, Kirk. go. So Kirk is down. <clears throat> Stole his humanity. I don't believe there's anything over that way. Stop following me. Nobody likes you. There is an item around here somewhere. I'm just not sure where. There it is. A heavy crossbow. I will never use it. I don't think I ever have used it. And I'm pretty sure you can summon Solaire here. I think we passed his summon sign already. I don't really care, though. Take a sip here. It's a pretty alligator. Or a huge toothy vagina monster. You know, either or, I guess, right? All right, giant toothy vagina monster. Oh, that doesn't say much good. I was expecting us to be a little more powerful than that. Oh, shit. Okay. So if I stand at about this range, he should do the slam. Now, if you attack the actual head, you do get bonus damage. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Does not want. Okay. Come on. Rear up. Don't you do your spitting. Okay, good. Stay at about this distance. And... Blah. 
So we only have time for two attacks. Don't get greedy. We're getting really good RNG on this boss. He hasn't done any tail swipes. He hasn't done any uh, acid spits. So we're, we're getting pretty good RNG. He's only done the jump attack once so far. Let's go left. Managed to get enough clearance. You can cut off his tail um, for Obsidian Great Axe or Dragon Great Axe or something. I don't know what it's called. Let's get back here with that tail. Let's see if we can do it. Dragon King Great Axe. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Alright. This has been going really well, actually. It's just another copy of the armor that we already have. This door has always pissed me off. What is its point? It's just there. It'd be really neat if um, there was another way that you could get to it. And just stand there from the other side and just look at things. Just see the boss moseying around or something. Alright, there we go. So that's another boss down. I'm gonna go get the, um... Am I gonna... Do I really wanna... Well, that's unlocked. I'm not going to go get the Eido. Not right now, anyway. But, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click the like button, and we will see you next time.